What is going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video. Now for this video, we're doing Road to the Top, episode 16, I believe. It's either episode 16 or 17. I don't know, I always get these mixed up. But for this video, we're gonna be doing a lot. Our main focus is doing a shopping spree for our classic lineup. Because as you guys may know, to unlock this live event right here, you need to have an 83 overall classic lineup in order to do it. And the reason why I want to do this is because doing this live event gives us a free flashback elite pack. So that's giving us a free 83 overall or above flashback player. So as you guys may know, I've been trying to get this JR Smith throughout the whole promo, but his price actually went up. Now yesterday I tried to bid on him for 1.5 mil, but then I ended up getting outbid. So let's see how much he's going for right now. Look at this, two mil, 2.1. His price has gone up. So he's out of our price range at the moment. So instead of getting that JR Smith, I'm just gonna upgrade my classic lineup to an 83 overall. And then I'm going to do that live event. And then that's going to give us a free flashback elite. And then let's look at our bench right here. We have another one right here. I finished this set yesterday. So we'll be able to do it. Um, we'll be able to open two of those packs. So we have two chances to pull that 86 overall JR Smith. So we've done this two times already on camera. And we've pulled the same person twice. We pulled an 83 overall Marchin Gortat twice. And he only sold for like 200k so hopefully we can change hopefully our luck can change imagine if we get one of those 87s i've seen somebody pull one of those 87s so hopefully our luck can change so i have been grinding these live events off camera um since this event the flashback promo ends tomorrow i'm not going to be able to finish up another 83 plus elites so i've been stacking up collectibles to do this set right here because you have a shot at pulling some good things out of these. So I decided to just use the rest of my collectibles on this set right here. So I believe that's all we can do. We need more red tokens. That is A-OK. -okay. okay, so to start off the video, we're going to do our shopping spree. So let's head over to our classic lineup real quick. And let's see what we got going on. We just need to get it up to an 83 overall. It's currently at an 81, so we need to upgrade it. Okay, so... Let's let's get a new point guard because that Mike Bibby really isn't that great. So let's go 85. Well, no, 85 is too much. But let me check some prices real quick. How much are 85s going for? I want to check 600k. Okay, so there's a Steve Francis that's up right now. I think this is who we're gonna grab for the lineup because he's better than that Mike Bibby. He has good mid-range, which is nice. So he currently goes for 510K. Yeah, 510K. And this is gonna help us with league versus league as well. So I'm gonna buy him and then let's throw him into the team and let's see how far up he goes. So our lineup is, is still in 81, what? That's bogus. All right, so that boosted up our overall to an 82. To be honest, all we really gotta do is upgrade our bench here. So, hmm, let's see. Let's see what happens if we, we could use a new shooting guard though. Um, Do I wanna grab a shooting guard? Let's take a look at some shooting guards real quick. Um, let's just look at 82's shooting guards for a classic lineup. I really don't want to spend too many coins, you know. So let's just do 300k. Okay, so here's a, a Corey Maggetti right here. Good stats, 83 mid-range, 82 three-pointer. I think that's who we're going to go. I think that's who we're going to go ahead and get. Uh... 
Let's look at Del Curry right here. Nope. Let's look at George Gervin. Nope. Yes, yeah, so I think we're going to go ahead and get this Corey Maggette right there. Yeah. So let's do 275. And then we're going to type in flashbacks. All right. So since those uh, flashback packs are out, like from the sets and all that, uh, his price is pretty low. So I saw one for 200K. So we're going to go ahead and buy that right there. All right, so we're down to 890k. We're still stacked up with a good amount of coins, which is nice. So let's update our classic lineup and let's see what our overall is going to be at. Still at an 82. Let's throw him in. Still at an 82. Come on now. All right, so our Corey Maggette gets boosted to an 84, which is nice. Uh... Let's see real quick. One, two, three, four. All right, here's what we're about to do. We're going to pick up a new coach. Um, we're going to get this coach right here. Tom Heinsohn right there. Because he's good. So we can get him for around 50K maybe. Uh, let's try 75K. All right, so yeah, we can get him for 50K. I saw one for 50. Is there anything lower than that? 40K. Right there, we're going to pop that real quick. Okay. Now let's throw this coach in. Whoops. Wrong lineup. All right, let's throw this coach in. Okay. So now we're currently matching four. Let's try to go ahead and match six real quick so that we can get some better boosts. So we're going to grab a new point guard and a new power forward for our bench. And they need to have the power play style. So we're going to do power. We're going to do power forward and point guard. And then let's get some 78s. Let's do 20K. All right. So here's a power forward right here. Is there a 79? Nope. All right. We're going to buy this one here. All right. Now we just need a point guard. Let's go up to 25K. None up for 25. Let's do 35k. What? Okay. Go down to 77 then. All right. So we can get him for 15k right here. All right. So let's throw these guys into our lineup real quick. We're going to uh, throw in him, and then we're going to throw in this guy here. Okay, so now we are matching six players. So we're going to get plus three post shot and plus three dunking to all of our players. This is the best classic coach in the game. So I definitely recommend you guys picking him up. Okay, so let's train up some of these guys on our bench because we need to hit that uh, 83 overall classic lineup real quick. So we're, we're just going to train these players up. Oh wow, so there's all of our daily objectives. Make sure you guys are grinding out your daily objectives because you get free cash every single day from doing it. So why pass up on that? And make sure you guys grind out your ads too. It does not take long at all. As you guys can see, I have uh, 1,295 total um, cash. And I got all that for free just from watching the ads, doing my daily objectives. So you guys need to definitely do that. Okay, so we need to train somebody else up. We're going to throw in our Posey right here. The only reason why we're training these guys up is so that we can get our lineup up to an 83. Because right now it's only at an 82. And in order to unlock that live event, it has to be at an 83. So we just need to hurry up and do this. Okay, let's throw this guy in there. Okay. All right, so are we at an 83 yet? Yes, we're at an 83. Okay. So here's what the squad is looking like. Our main lineup for our, well, not counting our bench, but our classic lineup is looking really nice right now. Um, we just made two upgrades, and they were pretty big upgrades. Um, we're rocking with the Steve Francis. I'm not going to train these guys up because then, like, if I were to get a better 
player for that position i can just resell these guys so i'm not going to train them because when you train them they become non-auctionable so we're rocking with the 85 steve francis 84 overall Corey mcgetty 84 larry bird um 81 dan dan issel and 83 dave cohen's those two guys are really great budget beasts that you guys need to pick up definitely recommend picking them up all right let's head over to the live events so this event is locked right now so we got to go ahead and close the app and then come back to it and then it will be unlocked so i'll be right back when i do that all right guys we are back and then as you guys can see the event is unlocked now so what do we have to do first to 21 and then we'll get an elite flashback player so we about to go ahead and play this right now on camera so that we can get our flashback pack and then we're going to go ahead and um oh wow so we're down so we need to we need to get some stops i remember doing this on my main account as well but i just forgot which event it was oh no that's not going in board let's go let's go cohen's all right give it to mcgetty that's your three right there 20 percent splash let's get it that's what i'm talking about so let's go ahead and fly through this uh we left them open there oh he, he ended up missing wow okay so we just need a few more three pointers i know my boy larry bird can splash that three let's get 20 percent splashing another three let's go so we just need one more point let's see if we can go ahead and shut them out oh let's go Steve Francis with the finger roll finish. Let's get it. So we flew through that one. Pretty easy. Pretty simple. That's how I like to do things around here. All right. So let's go ahead and claim our free flashback elite player. We're going to save that for later. All right. So to close off the video, we're going to go ahead and open these packs that we have on our bench. Hopefully we can get some luck on those flashback elites because the last two times that we did it, we did not pull anything so let me grab a good screenshot right there all right so to warm things up we're going to open some of these flashback elite chance packs hopefully we can at least get something every time i open these packs i didn't pull anything so we get two silvers and a 1500 training points right there give us an elite player at least that would be pretty nice nothing out of that one imagine if we pulled a flashback elite out of one of those that would be completely insane bam three silvers again come on now come on now come on I know, I know we got that luck with us okay we get a gold amir johnson probably just going to use that guy for training points or something the final pack what can we get bam okay two gold training points right there in the john barry all right the moment you guys been waiting for to close off this nice episode come on ea hook me up bro Hook me up. We're going to cover up the screen. Update team. Oh, let's go. We get an 85 overall. Josh Smith. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. He should be going for a pretty penny. Woo. Should we throw him onto the team though? 86 mid range. Wow. We might throw him onto the squad. What else does he have? 82 rebounding, 83 box out, 82 on ball defense, 83 dribbling, and 83 dunking. Wow, okay. Just from playing live events, guys. Just from playing live events. All right. Give us an 86 J.R. Smith right here. Come on, man. Come on. Three, two, one. Bam! 84 overall Isaiah Thomas. That's good as well. We finally got two cards that we haven't pulled yet. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's see how much these guys are going for. Let's look up the let's look up the Isaiah Thomas real quick. Look at that. 400k, 380k. Uh let's try 350. Look at that. 330k, pretty nice. Now let's see how much this Josh Smith is going for. More than 350k. Look at that. 500k. 550 hold up 475 look at that 450k so we got two pretty good pulls in 85 and in 84 i'm happy about that so we legit just made around 700k back from uh from those two packs which is nice so let's throw in this josh smith right here let's look at his stats That'll put him at 88 mid-range, which is nice. 
I think we're gonna hold on to him. Yeah, because we we really could have needed like some more players for the team. The Lance Thomas has better inside paint shot and better three pointer. Um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna sell these guys right up on the auction house right now. So, uh, how much were these guys going for? So Isaiah Thomas was three thirty. I'm gonna do three twenty. Three hundred. Post him up, and then the Josh Smith was 480 I believe 475 I'm gonna drop him for 459999 all right so that was a very successful episode we ended up beefing up our uh, classic lineup and then from the pulls that we got from the flashback elites we managed to just make our coins back you know so we how much did we spend we spent around 700k on this shopping spree I think it was well worth it because um, we legit just like got these players for free basically because we spent 700k and then we made back around 700k from the pulls so pretty nice in my book so if you guys enjoyed road to the top episode 16 as always drop that like and if you are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe click that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i do drop a video we drop in daily nba live mobile content um this was a triple upload day which is very nice let me set a like goal can we smash 300 likes on this video that would be much appreciated. I know you guys can do it. You guys have destroyed this goal before. So let's see if you guys can go ahead and do it again. So 300 like this. Th let's, let's get 300 likes on this video. And then that would be pretty insane. So if you guys haven't seen my UFC video from earlier. Or my NBA Live Mobile video from earlier as well. Definitely go check them out. Leave your feedback in the comments. Also, let me know if there's anything I need to improve with my channel. I'm always looking for some constructive criticism. No hate. Just give me some constructive criticism. Let me know what I need to do better on, and then I'll definitely put your comments to good use. I do read I do read all of the comments. So just because I don't reply doesn't mean I don't read them because I read every single comment. So Leave your feedback in this comment section down below, and then I'll definitely put it to good use. So, yep, drop a like on this video, subscribe if you are new, and y'all know the slogan, screw the haters. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.